ton of outlets to burn the track and have a feel of the sand for long jump. Some of the events were straight to the finals. Because of the few entries and for the winners, it was an awesome feeling doing themselves and their ministry proud. I'm happy. Um, I had to put in a whole lot of work. Right, so, and I'm proud that all my hard work paid off. Amazing, like, it's satisfying, and I'm happy. All my months of training is not in vain, so I'm happy for that. I feel lighted and I feel great. I give glory to God. It's not my strength, it's not my power, but it's God that just made it for me to be reality today. Officials of the Federation of Public Service Games were in full of breaks to the organizers for a flawless medical setup at the Uniport Center. For, for, the, for, for, for medical um, assistance, they've made adequate provisions and they've sent um, their officers, the medical officers, to all the venues uh, we are using for these, uh, for these events. They have the facilities, the organization, and everything. Very satisfied. Information Commissioner Joe Johnson was also delighted that there has not been any reason for the outlet officials and even hosts to entertain any fear about the safety of everyone. But the fact on ground has proven that the River State is peaceful. Top functionaries of the federal government, they're all here and they've been around and uh, they can speak for themselves. And the atmosphere here is quite, quite friendly. A lot of activities are going on in all the four centers. Because the people are highly hospitable, very hospitable. And this has also shown you River State is safe, hospitable, and you can come and do your business. Attention will now shift to the Civic Center, Port Harcourt Club, where more medal events will be decided on Tuesday. Abajo Sekwe, AIT News, Port Harcourt.